I'm Monique. Give me a problem and I love to solve it. Over there is Zan. He's happiest when he's flipping his legs over his head. This is Gregor. He's bursting with enough natural energy to power a rocket ship. Amy sure is light on her toes. And Freddy? Not again. Oh, Freddy. Grab it. And Freddy's frog. Let's just say Freddy is probably the reason science invented the adhesive bandage. We hang out together. We help each other. Sometimes we even put on a show, you see. We're the safety kids, the safety kids, the safety kids. Playing it cool, we're the safety kids, the safety kids, the safety kids. Keeping the rules, we're gonna be around for a long, long time. To the safety Play it smart, kids. yeah. He wouldn't be in trouble. But he's really late. He should have called. Let's go look for him. Come on, Freddy. I don't think we have to worry. But we got to take care of each other. Smart kid. Smart kid. Freddy's right. We got to make sure Gregor's OK. My best friend, I've just found out he takes drugs, and he wanted me to take them too. What are you guys doing? Come on, Gregor. No, I don't know anything. Come on, everybody's Shit. doing it. Come on, Gregor, open up. No, let go of me. And I ran away just as fast as I could. Can't believe it. A guy like that takes drugs. No wonder you are scared. Drugs can be bad. They can ruin your life. Bad stuff. This calls for action. A safety kid should be safe from drugs. How do we stay safe? I have an idea. Each of us can learn one way to keep drugs out of our lives. Then we can share what we learned and know five ways. Alcohol is a drug, too. Amy's right. Alcohol is a strong drug, and lots of kids use it. But not all kids use it. Our job is to find those kids who are not into drugs and learn their secrets. Our reports at our next meeting. We're out of here. Club dismissed. Grib it. I can't believe it. I was my best friend. I'm glad I'm a safe kid. We help each other when stuff like this happens, right? <laughs> Safety 
kids. It's been a whole week since our last meeting. Everyone have their reports ready? Yeah! Okay, what we're going to talk about today is substance abuse. Anyone know what that means? Mm -mm. I do. Substance abuse means putting anything into our bodies that is not good for us. That includes doing drugs, drinking alcohol, sniffing glue, and other stuff. Some people call it chemical abuse. When people abuse drugs, they're not dependable. You can't really count on them. That's because they're out of control. The drugs have taken over. Gregor, do you want to do your report first? OK. I wanted to find out why kids do drugs. Here's what I found out. People put chemicals in their bodies because they don't like how they're feeling. Sometimes, sometimes I feel angry. Sometimes I feel worried. All those feelings are normal. Everyone has them. That's life. But some people who don't like these feelings try to change them with drugs. They think that will make them feel better, but it doesn't. It just makes them so they can't feel anything. And then when the drugs wear off, they feel pain. Is that all they can feel? That's all. They're either out of it or they just hurt. When I feel lonely or upset, I do something that makes me feel happy. Do it naturally. Go for a natural high, 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 when you are feeling down low. If you like running, then break out and run. That's a way to get high, and it's safe and it's fun. Go for a natural Smart safety rule number one. Get your highs naturally, not chemically. Yeah. When people are on drugs, they stop being interested in life, and they miss out on what's really happening. They sure do. Amy, we're ready for your report. Mine's different from Gregor's. It's about the reason kids do drugs, and a lot of time that reason is peer pressure. What's that? Peer pressure is doing things because other kids are doing them, like this. Even though he knows something is wrong, some people want to be like their friends so much, they'll even do what they don't want to do if their friends tell them to. They don't dare to be different. I dare to be different. I don't have to do things just because other kids are doing them. That's because you believe in yourself. I do? Sure you do. You're an in-charge person. That's right. I'm in charge of the meeting. A person who believes in himself will do what he knows is best, no matter what anyone else does. That kind of person doesn't give in to peer pressure. They don't do things just because their friends tell them to. They're a nice rap, know what I mean, doing drugs, a terrible scene. See them hanging out in malls, doing their dealing in the halls, spreading their lowly habits around. Pressuring friends and dragging them down.
see them all the time at school. All those shaggies acting cool. Think they're tough, but listen, friend, they'll pay for it in the end. Bad stuff, bad, bad stuff, no good for you at all. But isn't it hard to tell your friends you don't do drugs? Not if you make up your mind before they ask and plan what you're going to say. Come on, Zan. I'll be the guy who wants you to try. OK. Hey, Zan, you want a beer? Uh-uh. Why not? I just know. Listen, if you don't drink with us, you can't be one of us. You mean I have to choose between drinking with you or not having you for a friend? That's right. And I choose not having you for a friend. Wow, can you really say that? Of course you can. You choose the clothes you wear and what you eat. You sure ought to be able to choose your friends. And you can say things like, I don't think that's cool. I can live without it. I don't need that to have fun. Here's what I'd say, I'm allergic. I turn blue. <laughs> Before you light that thing, call an ambulance. What's your understanding of anaphylactic shock? <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Amy. That'll stop him. How about just saying no? Zan, besides being a super sharp safety kid, you're brilliant. All you gotta say is no. Whoa. All you gotta say is no. All you gotta say is no. No, no way. An emphatic no. No, I say. A repeated no. No, no, no. A bored no. No. An intro no. No, thank you. A bold no. No, get lost. A laughing no. Ha, 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 no. A lengthy no. No. Safety rule number three. Remember, all you've got to say is no. Woo! Bravo! Bravo! Oh, but next, are you ready for this? It's pretty heavy stuff. Hey, we can take it. OK. Our body is made up of chemicals, a little of this and some of that, with everything trying to stay in balance. Now, if you put things in it like harmful drugs or alcohol, it destroys the balance. This is really scientific. 
Well, here's the scary part. If you put those harmful chemicals into your body while you're still growing, they alter your genes. This is so scientific, I don't even understand it. Monique, Freddy doesn't know what kind of genes you're talking about. I'm talking about G-E-N-E-S, the kind you have inside of you. These genes are found in every cell in your body. They're the things that hold the pattern for how you look and how you grow. They make me have dark eyes and black hair. And they make you have brown eyes and light red hair. They control your body cells and your brain cells. Right, Zan. So if kids abuse drugs, their genes will never have the chance to make them what they might have been. Are you saying that kids who take drugs won't be as smart as they could be? <gasps> and their muscles won't grow like they should? Oh, no. And they might not be able to draw as well or run as fast? Yikes, yikes, yikes. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm going to give my genes a chance. I'm not going to use chemicals. I'm not either. Why we're on a good thing. I got my very own set of designer jeans. How do they make me look? My very own set of designer jeans. Play it smart. Safety rule number four. Respect your body. Give your genes a chance to make you all you can be. Yeah! <laughs> okay, Freddie, it's your turn. Well, I don't think my report is good enough. What do you mean, not good enough? Well, it sounds so, like, simple after all the scientific things you guys have been talking about. It must be important, Freddy, or you wouldn't have thought so. Come on, Freddy. Uh, you can tell us. Well, you gotta have love. Love? That's what I learned. Kids who feel loved usually don't get into drugs. Where'd you hear that, Freddy? From my uncle. He told me that everybody needs to feel important. And I guess you have to like yourself enough to be strong and stay away from stuff like drugs. How do you learn to like yourself? Well, you can remember the good things you've done. Or you can think of what you do best. I know another way. Look in the mirror every morning and say something nice about the person you see. Do you do that, Freddy? I sure do. I tell myself lots of good things about me. I love that kid in the mirror. And when I feel like there's no one else to love me, I still have him. I need a friend, you need a friend, everybody needs to feel. Friend, and we'll both be friends who are.
try that idea with the mirror. It's a great way to feel good about yourself. This is amazing. I didn't know love was that important. Hold on, everybody. It's all coming together. We're a club, right? Yeah. And we're important to each other. Important. Important. Well, that could be love. And it sure is keeping us safe from lots of things that can hurt us. We don't have to go where there's drugs and alcohol to find friends because we have each other. But what about the kids who might be all alone? Every kid can be a safety kid and they'll never be alone because they'll have me, Greg, and me, Sam, and me, Monique, and me, Amy, and me, Freddie. And me. And most important, they'll have themselves. And they're okay. Play it smart safety rule number five. Believe in yourself. You're worth it. Excellent report, Freddie. Thank you, thank you. When people get caught up in drugs, they can't show love. They can still feel love, but the love gets blocked so it can't get out. Then their families never know how much they care about them. People who are hooked on drugs do weird things. Like my friend. He didn't used to act like that. Not until he started on, using Ray. drugs. Then he tried to make me take them. What will we do if somebody wants us to drink or take drugs? You mean someone's going to try to get us to take drugs? Probably more than once. It may be a kid at school or some adult. But why? Why would they want to do that to us? For money. They want you to get hooked on drugs so they can sell them to you. First, they get you to try them. They might even give them to you free. Then, the more you take them, the more your body wants them. Till you can't stop. Your body won't let you. That's called an addiction. It gets so without the chemicals, you're in too much pain. Pretty soon, you're taking more and more drugs and paying all your money for them. And if you even try it once, you might get hooked. Never, never try drugs. Right. If you don't do them the first time, you will never have to worry about the second time. So if anyone wants you to try drugs, no matter who they are, tell them this. You're not gonna get rich on me. I'm not giving you my money. I'm not planning to be somebody's slave. You're not really my friend at all. You're just wanting to make me crawl. You wanna put me in a living grave. There's a mighty big world out there. Let's count down the Play It Smart safety rules one more time. Get your highs natural, not chemical. Don't give in to peer pressure. Remember, all you've got to say is no. Respect your body. Give your genes a chance to make you all you can be. Believe in yourself. You're worth it. Good job, safety kids. We'll be safe if we follow the rules. Remember, we were born to be special. Every kid was born to be special. Right on.